boys and girls. We hope you're uh, having great fun at home. Uh, I'm Adele and this is Isaac and Caleb and we're here tonight to share a story with you. The boys would love to give you some clues though, so look and see what they brought with them. Isaac, you soldier. go first. A soldier. Mm. And Caleb, what have you found to do with our story tonight? You hold up what you've got. A stone. A stone. Ah. So I'll give you a little minute while you get all snuggled up and all ready for our story to guess who our story might be about. So about some soldiers and five stones. Well, it's about David and Goliath. So are we ready to hear? Let's go. David and Goliath. The Philistines were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. A giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring your best soldiers to fight me. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves, he boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's Ew. soldiers were afraid. They did not want to fight the giant. What giant? Meanwhile, young David was taking food to his brothers. They were soldiers in King Saul's army. When David reached the camp, he saw Goliath. David heard the giant's challenge. Hey. I'm not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul called for David and told him, you cannot fight the giant, you're too young. David replied, God will be with me. King Saul gave him his armour to David, but it was big and heavy. David wasn't used to wearing armour. Look at that, boys, it's so big and heavy, and girls too. David went to a nearby stream and picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him, but David did not care. He said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. David put a stone in his sling and ran towards the giant. Then he let it fly. It hit Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw that their hero was dead. They ran away. Wasn't that an amazing story, boys and girls, about a little young boy called David and how he used something really small, just like a stone that you might see in your garden or if you go for a walk outside and how God used him to do mighty things. Well, I hope you have a great night's sleep. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.